Hello. Hello. And welcome to a side of the kitchen table. This is my other towels from the table. And tonight we're going to cover something that makes me cringe. And I can watch a horror film where they're ripping bones out and removing internal organs and there's blood everywhere. But somebody stands on something and hurts their It's all fun and games until someone gets something in their foot. We have watched countless horror films. I think Final Destination was the worst one with that screw. Yeah. And Final Destination 3, I think that was 4. 4 it was, I think. Blood and guts everywhere. Broken bones. Somebody gets folded up on parallel bars where they're doing gymnastics and that. And we're falling. And then somebody steps on a screw. And we're like, Ugh! and we, we can't watch it. No. it it's It's... Horrible. I mean, we were watching um, a corn video this, this afternoon. Right now by corn. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's absolutely disgusting. It's very disturbing. It's a cartoon, though. It's a cartoon, but he stands on an owl. Repeatedly. Repeatedly. And there's me and I like... Ugh. Even in Home Alone, when they stand on... One, they stand on the, the, the Christmas decorations. And number two... When he stands on the screw in that, with the nail that's sticking up in the on the stairs, no, just no, and that's a kids' film. Trying to stick the cat and taking fire to itself. So you know any kind of screws in foot, feet, or standing on something sharp, it's all fun and games until someone stands on something. Mhm. Mm and then it's just game over. She's taking her drugs. I'm yeah. going to take my pill yet. Mm. Bromide, yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can, you have all these horrible things happening. You know, there's people eating each other. They're, they're beating holy hell out of each other. There's blood flying around. There's bright bones breaking. There's guts all over the place. And that's fine. We'll sit there and watch that and we're like, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Nothing. And then someone will stand on something. We're like, <laughs> that, that gets us both. What makes you cringe? And mind movies and emotions songs bring. Yeah, well, it's not just songs. I mean, reading as well. Uh, but um, you get it with reading. I get it. With music. I get it with music and reading things. Well, to be honest, I get more emotion than mind movies I don't really get mind movies I get mind movies if I listen to the show for by Joanne Dray the outro of it that little I think a castle was like Camelot and damsels in distress with pointy hats with a dangling on them I like. just feel the music I'm completely different to you and I do feel it uh, but I I often get a mind movie from it as well I don't get my movies, I just feel it. Sometimes I get my movies, but sometimes I just feel the song. Um, but then I listen to a... If it's instrumental, then I usually just get emotion, but if it's actually got lyrics to it, then I generally get my movie, which is completely different to the videos that they have for them. I mean, me and Mum were sitting there once, and we was actually talking about a song, and we was like, we could do this video so much better. Yeah, to the moon about it. Mm. Savage Garden. And it's really... Well, it's happened a few times, it wasn't just that one. Yeah, but that was one of them. Mm -hmm. You know, we get these... I get mind movies, and songs can actually make me cry. And they have done on several occasions. Mm, um, But Two Little Boys I cannot listen to. It, that, that, that tears me a bit stuck with us. Um, the the son of Hickory Hollers Tramp, I used to. Well, cry even beneath my well. wings makes her cry as well. Yeah, but that's for a totally different reason. Mm. You know, what I mean, even beneath my wings makes me feel my mum. Was she a hero? Yeah, okay. she was an art, the ultimate in bitch. But, <laughs> but she, uh, was... she nearly done it again. No, I said she was the <laughs> ultimate in bitch, but she was my hero because. She put up with so much crap. Mm. And she just sort of... Brushed it off. 
Well, she didn't brush it off. It did scar her, but she just sort of... Didn't she show any emotion. On. <laughs> she managed to carry on. Well, she did show emotion, but she just like, okay, that's over. Now we'll move on to this. She was um, a very crack-on woman, though. She was. She was. I mean, I can't say she was the tidiest woman on earth. She wasn't the best-tempered woman on earth. And she definitely wasn't sainted. That she was but, very... If something happened, she'd be like, right, we need to get past that and do this now. Yeah. She's very and crack on. She she would... She was the ultimate and keep calm and carry on. Yeah. Even though she wasn't always calm when she did it, but she was by the time she'd finished what she, what she set out to do. Do you want another hole video? Because we're doing another shop today, and I want to know if you want another shopping hole. Hole. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, that then. A shopping whatever. Do you want another one? Because we're doing shopping. I might just do it anyway. I hate shopping. But we've got to go shopping again, so... It's a pet hate of mine. I look, I look tanned. Look, I'm compared to you. You look dead. I look Everyone tanned. looks tanned compared to me. Um, I tell you what annoyed me the other day. No, yesterday, actually, yesterday. I went to the shops to get some dinner in. Right. We will go back to mind movies and stuff. This annoyed me. And we were in the queue, and we got past the queue, and there was these people. They were foreigners, and they were standing, like, here, and we had to get here, so we had to go past them. And, all right, granted, the woman moved, but because they were so busy waiting for carrier bags, they were spending so much time. Take your own bag. Really? I mean, come on. And they had a lot of stuff, like, I'm talking about three bags full of stuff. And she already had one bag. What is wrong with people? People just don't think to take bags. I've noticed, though, it's usually the ones... I mean, yeah, okay, a lot of English people don't do it, but it's usually the foreigners, it's usually the Russians and that, isn't it? Yeah, gem, as a general rule. I take mean, I will always take own my own bags. bloody bag! When I go to the 24-hour shop, or the Cadbury shop now, and I've got my own bag with me. They they know it now, and they're like, okay, give me a bag, and they pack it for me. But they're so used to me with, with my own bag now that it's... it's Why don't really people there. take their own bloody bags? It really annoys me. Because it it's effort. Oh, what do you do? It's effort. When we go shopping, when we do a haul... Haul. Haul, whatever. See, she was correcting me. When we do a haul, we always take bags. Okay, we take about five, and we've never got enough. So she usually buys another bag for life. Bag for life. Take a bag for life. And if you don't want to make that kind of commitment, then just buy a, one of those heavy duty shopping bags. It's not hard. You don't need to keep Buying I'm just plastic to bags. Make it uh, explain to our viewers that we have actually got a candle burning over there, and the cats seem mesmerised by it. So if I keep jumping up and down, it's because I'm knocking cats down from. But I given them catnip and it didn't work. I know it's it's very hit and miss with that when they've got something that looks more interesting. I gave and they them think drugs. That, they think the candles really. I gave them drugs and they don't care. But yeah, so, uh, you know, I just think people should take their own bags and be more bloody responsible. It's us that are killing this planet as it is. Well, I think everybody knows that now, but it's just convenience and instant gratification. <clears throat> well, I don't know what that means. It means that they can't be bothered to prepare and actually take a bag with them. They want it. Prepare? You're making it sound like they're going on a trip. They just need to grab a few bags. Well, yeah, but... It's not hard, just... I used to be an expert at forgetting bags, and I still occasionally do. But what I do is I've got all the bags that I usually take shopping with me in another bag hanging on the kitchen door. Yeah. I mean, it's... There. And that is full of bags for shopping. Because when we go, as you know, when we go to farm foods, we get a lot of shopping. Yeah. And, you know, at least we actually take our own bags. And it just annoys me that people can't be bothered to do it. And, like, they wait as well, like, when, you know, they go into a shop or something, and they expect 
the cashier to pack the bags for oh, them. Oh, Christmas, I was this Jamaican woman, I laughed up. And she had a suitcase. She was putting shopping in the suitcase. And then I thought, well, I've got to get a bag. And she goes, i got bags. <laughs> and she had like this bag of bags in the suitcase. And she, i got bags. <laughs> and it, you know what else, right? There was this woman, this was last time we went shopping, when I'd said about the bags before. She had a car, right? She took one bag, went out to the car, and then came and got the other two. Well, why don't you just take your stuff... Put it in the car. You don't need a bag. Get your stuff. And if you've got a car, put bags in the car. I mean, I am I am menace for my own bags. Like, but... if you put some, get some bags, get some canvas bags, put them in the car. Oh my Christ! Then you have bags. <laughs> what is that? That's a tiggy on the on your back. That that's what you should do if you drive. Put your bags in the car. But, um, yeah, so back to my movies, because you had a rant about this last time when we went shopping. Yeah, I know, and I'll have a rant about it again today, probably. Um, right, so, my movies. If you listen to audiobooks on YouTube, as I often do, um... You used to, I don't use so much now. I, I get try. mind movies, and the one I'm listening to currently is called Watchers by Dean R. Koontz. Now, I've read the book, which was amazing. I saw the film, which was pretty crap. And now I'm listening to it on audiobook and I get my own little mind movie of how I think it should have been filmed. Now, I know you get a lot more detail in the book than you do in the movie and time constraints and everything else, you have to cut bits out. But... It's not that there's a UFO out there. Isn't it? Yeah, I think it's plain. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we've got the... The aliens are coming. You know, we've got these weird mind movies that go on, and we get them from songs as well. Well, you do. I don't so much. I don't know. When I listen to Vinnie Vane, I was running away from the sun. I go tingly. I always imagine someone running away from a sunny area to the snows of Finland. See, I don't get that. I just go tingly. But, um, Do you want to stop moaning, you okay, guys? That was Gremlin and Windy. No, Windy Boy's on the table, didn't he know he was there? It's been there all the time. <laughs> I didn't even realise he was there. But, um, yeah, what, what do you get from, from music? Do you get emotion? Do you get my movie? Do you get an extra bite? Get emotion? I do get emotion, like from some songs. Some Farewell. Others. Farewell is an instrumental by mm. Collectica. I don't so get much. a mind movie, but I do get rather emotional about that one. It was the other one. Silent, Scream for Silent. No, not by Apocalyptica, by him, or Vidi Velo. I was sitting there crying. You did that with all three of them. The, the, the cup that will never run dry. Something and something. That one. That made me cry. What is it? I remember the spike and you couldn't. No, I knew the title. I can't <laughs> say it. Saturnalia Saturnine. It's not difficult. It is difficult. But um It's these cryptic messages that he does. He does. He I, doesn't him songs and these cryptic messages everywhere. I get mixtures of mind movies and emotions, but I mean there are some songs that will actually reduce me to tears. Have more travel news. Okay, in today's travel news, we have Boris Johnson's brought in this new thing of the three tiers. If you're in the bottom tier, you're in lockdown. If you're in the second tier, you have your bubble, and only people in your bubble are allowed to be with you. But you can go on public transport and go to school and go to work. That's in both tiers. That's in lockdown tier and bubble tier. And then you have the first tier. You can do what you want, basically. That's London. You finished that? Yeah. <laughs> so it's travel news brought to you by Kaylee. <laughs> okay, it's enough. 
Oh, she sounds like one of them. She's doing dubstep. <laughs> um, well, I can't do much else. <laughs> my dubstep music. It's in my news feed. I could do it. No, it's fine. It's fine. So yeah, just so you know, the three tears thing. My friend told me, Michelle. Well, Michelle sort of feeds us the travel news and news reports. Oh, and Leanne, a um, little little tip for you. Little tip, 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 tip. You said about going out shopping. You said you need to get a week shopping and you can't do it. Why don't you order online? Yeah, because you spend a lot of time online. Mm. You always have. You can order online. And you can do that from Tesco's, Asda and Iceland. Or send your children out. That's what or send there the for. kids. That's what they're there for. <laughs> That's why I had a child and it don't work. No. But, you know, your kids do usually do that because I remember Shannon getting boxes from the nicer shops when you're moving and things so, like that. So you can actually do that. You can actually ask them. They might say no and then you beat them with a big stick. But you can actually ask them to do that. Or shop online. Or shop online. We've done that before. That was when I was... Actually, do you know Ill. something? When lockdown started, and I say that the bag we got, three bags. Yeah, when lockdown started, we got these three bags of food delivered, and I hadn't made an order online. No one had in this house. It was like, okay, this was weird, because we don't usually order food unless it's at Christmas time. And we got three bags of food. And we tried to ring up and send them back, but no one was answering the phone. We literally tried three times, and no one was answering the phone. Iceland. I even chased the van. Yeah, so we got like three bags of food for free. And I'm very Yay. sorry if it was yours, but we used it. We did try. We tried everything that we could to get it returned. I chased the van down the road and the bloke was waving at me thinking I was just chasing for fun. Um, or maybe you thought I had like some kind of dog fetish. Um, and oh, chasing the van. And we were trying to call Iceland. We actually got through to the headquarters, and no one answered the phone. No. no. So that we didn't even get a robot. There was nothing. It was. But we did try. Terrible. But but we did try to return it. We even inquired at the local Iceland shop, and they said, "Don't come for me now." Yes, Michelle, I am still awake. I can't message you right now. I'm in the middle of a video. Yeah, we usually <laughs> get. It didn't come for me. Bedtime. So we did everything we could to actually get it returned, but unfortunately, it didn't happen. You're trying to like, Michelle just messaged me. He's so awake. Yes, I am. Awake, but, <laughs> I well, can't message she, you. <laughs> she won't know this because we are actually in the middle of doing a video, so she won't. She won't know until after. Yeah, she's like, oh, they're still awake. But, um, she can't message me when I'm outside though, because my phone. Oh yeah, have you ever have you ever got that right? Where you've got a phone, and you've got internet on it, but you go outside and the internet doesn't work. I think there is something seriously wrong with your phone. So it means I have to hit it to get it to do anything. Although I haven't hit it today, it's been very good today. I say that now. You watch. Yeah, I should have said that. But yeah, so far so good. Those cats are really worrying me. I mean, mm. Gremlin is just staring out the window at the Squidgy! Like but it's this one. Get down. See, our cats are a nightmare. Squid, I mean, t uh, Gremlin <laughs> is just sitting there like the fat cat she is, staring out the window at nothing in particular. She's staring at the tree. Yeah. Is that interesting? It's because she's high. <laughs> oh, I see so things. Had I've had catnip. <laughs> she's hallucinating. Um, <laughs> but... You know, mind movies and things like that, we are very into anyway. Um, and listening to it and feeling it. Do you know what? I actually put some music on for the cats once because they've got these cat recordings of music for cats. And they weren't interested. Put the bride on, and the boy's like, yeah, it's like, okay, boy, he likes metal. Not even joking there. He likes metal. Mind you, they also like Apocalyptic and they like the cello, don't they? Yeah, but Andy Boy's all, uh, he's been into Black Veil Brides for years. Yeah, but they do, like, is. they do like the sound of cellos as well, so... It's just, an, like, sort of an idea of how long the Black Veil Brides have been going for. He's eight years old. you got a face. Hello. You've been naughty. 
As usual. He's always naughty. Don't know how to be good. Three legs. And we found a mystery today. Our cats have no fleas for no. years. There was one single flea on Andy. One. Now, don't say when you get one flea that it's followed by an army of others because we combed all of them and found nothing. No, this is dandy. And it one. doesn't go out, so we don't know how... Mystery flea. <laughs> it could have come in on someone's clothes, but no one had actually been in and out at that point. So, there's a mystery flea. Yeah, well, it's dead now. I don't know how it got it in. It was on his little lip, and I was like, no! Not Andy, because I saw something there, and I was like, oh, it's dirt. And it started moving, I was like, hey, dirt. And I got it, and then I killed it, and then it wouldn't come off my finger. I was, it very active, was it very active? It seemed quite active, but it was really small. Like, really, really small. It was like a baby flea. Mystery flea. But they don't, when they wash, like, if they've got fleas, if cats have got fleas, when they wash, they bite their cells. These don't bite their cells, they just literally wash. They haven't actually had fleas for years. No. I mean, they do flea regularly anyway, but we don't let them out, but we do still do flea them because, you know, there's always that chance that someone can bring one in. Yeah, like but today, obviously. it was a bit of a mystery, that one, because we don't know where it came from, because no one's been out. But literally, combed them, and there was nothing. Then he was getting agitated, because he don't... Andy is very clean. I and mean, there's no fleas around the house. And he doesn't like being combed much, so what? You don't. He was getting agitated with me, and now he's getting agitated with me because I'm talking about him. Because if you've got, if your cat, if your animal has fleas, Hello. you get bitten. No. <laughs> if your if your animal has fleas, you get bitten. Mm. It is a fact of life. If your animal's got fleas, you get bitten. And they Talk do. About fleas making me itch. And they do live in furnishings. Oh, making me itch. And they will buy it if they're in the furnishings. But we haven't got that, have we? We haven't had No, and that. also, when you've got fleas, you see them jump up on you and you can see them. And we well, haven't. I can't. No, you can't because you're blind. But, you know, like, when you've got fleas in the house, you see them jump on you. Well, we haven't. I haven't seen any fleas since the last time they had fleas, which was years ago. So it's, it's kind of confusing. Where did this flea come from? And why did this flea come from yeah, but why and where? I don't know. So, if anyone else has got mystery fleas, let us know. Yeah, because that was weird. And it was only one. One. We got six cats, one, and it was on Andy Boy. I mean, it's not as though the other cats don't jump on us all the time because they do. I've usually got Gremlin on me because she wants the car. What did my baby she... boy do? The thing is, I won't put essential eating on until it gets really cold. And I mean, really cold. I and think it's really cold. Gremlin will jump on me and expect me to cover her up. <laughs> she always does. Or she tries to get under the covers with me. And S Smudge is always on us. It's like having a massive moving growth. Smudge is always around us. And so Andy at the is always around Kaylee. Yeah, you So him. it's not, and I've usually got <laughs> his face. Mm. <laughs> What's under here? Which oh, he's okay. fighting himself. I've usually got um, <laughs> I've usually got Tiggy jumping up and giving me a high five. So it's not as though we don't pay attention to the other cats because sure. and all three legs down there is mainly white. I had so a if nap. You had anything you'd see it. I had a nap earlier, and this is how bad Andy is. He was cuddling me, and he's been doing that a lot, like a lot. I went up and got him the other day from my mum's bedroom. And managed to get him out of my mum's room without her waking up. And he just laid there and cuddled up to me. Darling, I didn't mind you fighting yourself, but do you have to fight me too? He was cuddling me for about six hours, weren't he? Mm. Just cuddling me. But the thing it's is, weird. you know, we've got these cats around us the whole time. Yeah. We brush them. We make, f make fuss of them. Well, they don't let you ignore them, that's for sure. <laughs> and Especially him. as I say, Squidgy is mainly white. So if there was, yeah, I'm talking about you. So if there was anything on him, you'd see it. And also, fleas like to hang around around this area. Well, they usually, because fleas want moisture, they usually hang around the crutch region and the eye region and the mouth. Yeah, but Andy Boy's got a white nose as well and he's got a white crutch area. 
<laughs> yeah, but <laughs> so I mean, we, do, we do check them out and make sure that they haven't yeah. got anything like that. But and they've got our ginge. Yeah, well, you wouldn't see anything on her. I mean, she's so fluffy as well. Yeah, she is fluffy. Well, Andy's fluffy, though. People have seen Gretchen because I'm usually cuddling her. Although, Andy boy, right, he's really, really fluffy. You've seen Andy boy. Everybody knows Andy boy. He's a lovely boy. But around here, he's not got a lot of fur. And it was here, I saw it, and I was like, oh, okay. And then it run towards his mouth, and I was like, uh, yeah, that's a flea. And we, che- we checked him for ticks and everything as well, because we do that monthly anyway. Mm. We check for ticks and fleas and But the comb things. had fallen behind the... Because we use an it comb on the cats. And you know the one with the really close teeth? It's one of them. The dust comb. And I couldn't find it, and it had fallen down behind the skybox. So I had to climb under the television stand to get it. I got it. And but they, got it. They, they haven't got anything. But mystery fleas, do you have mystery fleas ever? Yeah. Because it's never happened to us before. No. And it had to be on my son, didn't it? Are you? So tell us, do you cringe when you see someone step on something on a film? Do you get my movies? Do you get emotions? Actually, speaking of pain, right, do you know what? When I see, um, what is it, what is it? Someone burn their self. Because I've burnt myself many times, I'm like, ooh, and I can, I get pain. Or when someone's getting a tattoo or a piercing, I'm like, ooh. And we was watching Guest House of Paradiso the other day. The oh. bit with the nipple ring. Yeah. I have my nipple pierced, okay? And that, to me, seeing that, it's just... I don't have my no. nipple pierced. But I can actually feel it because I know what it feels like when you pull a piercing. Mm. So... You know, it's, and it's you think nice. it's going to rip out and it's so close and you're just like, ah! <laughs> yeah, but the fact of the matter is we actually have met Simon Pegg and he hasn't got a PS nipple. He hasn't, so. no. <laughs> Good makeup though. We've met Simon Pegg on several occasions and he does not have a PS He might have used to have a PS nipple, I don't know, I didn't ask him. Well, I couldn't see any scars, but he had his shirt off at one point like on there, but... I wasn't going to look too Sound close. Big for it's you, not, isn't it? It's a bit weird. It's not very nice. You might have had it done at one point, but you haven't got it done anymore. So, <laughs> what about you? Do the, oh, the Punisher, when they're ripping up rugs, piercing that. Got, I can't watch things like that. He's got a pierced lip. Oh, there, God, yeah. And you see him rip it out. And he's got a piercing in his nose and he rips it out. And he's got one yeah. in his eyebrow and rips it out. Nose um, and lip. Yeah, and it's... <laughs> Painful to it's actually painful to watch. Now I Imagine don't. Someone with piercings watching that. I don't have those piercings, but I can feel it. I have and those like, piercings. Oh. Do you know what? Even when I got my lip, because I have my lip pierced. Yeah, I know there isn't one, Michelle. We're doing it now. <laughs> <laughs> We're about getting the live comments. comments. This is what we want. Live comments are great. We right, want hang on, hang on, comments, on a right. ones So I have my lip pierced on the side, and you can see the scar. It's there. I quite like my little scar. It's quite sweet. And I had to have it taken out because it was growing out, and you can see the scar there where it was growing out. Um, and when the guy took it out, he sort of pulled my lip down. Ah, oh, the pain! It was so painful, and because it was a BCR, you had to sort of get pliers and open it, and then pull it out. Ah, oh, the pain. And he was a professional piercer and tattooist, so he was trying to be gentle with her as well, and it still hurt. So. Although when Honey did put that bar in, it didn't hurt as much. No, but then Honey was... She knew I was a wimp. Wait! Yeah. Get down. Get I'm out, Prince. Serious. Yeah, no, serious Black. Come on. <laughs> Listen to me. Yeah, so um, piercings and um, tattoos. If anyone's getting anything like that done, I can't watch it. The thing that annoys me is when people pain. go, did your tattoos hurt? No, I'm tickled. Yeah, it didn't feel <laughs> Do you know what? The one that hurt the least is this one. This was my first one. And that one hurt least of all out of any of my tattoos. But it still hurt because you're technically being stabbed. Okay, you're being, you're being stabbed and having ink rubbed into it. That's pretty much what's happening. So, yeah, it's going to hurt. You can't just go, oh, I'm just going to stab you and it won't hurt. Of course it I hurt. I don't know. They weren't that bad, more than 
Yeah, but you've only got... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine ten. She's got ten. I've got over fifty. So well, you know, I I have got tattoos, yes, and some of them hurt more than others. But I find that the tattooing ain't that bad. It's the healing. And do you know what the worst thing was about my hand tattoo? Because a lot of people said, "Oh, hand tattoos hurt a lot." Right, that bit hurt the bit there. So when people go, oh, "I want to get a tattoo there," I'm like, "Yeah, all right, expect pain." That bit there hurt. The rest of it didn't hurt so much, but my hand was so big. It swelled up so much, didn't it? It was literally like that. And I was like, oh, okay, um, that's not cool. I find the healing hurts more than the actual tattoo. My fingers, they were swollen as well. Not as much as my hand, but they did swell up. But they actually kind of hurt a bit because one there and that one. And I had all these done at the same time. I got my B there and my B there. And... Um, they were quite painful because of where they are. Um, the heartogram, there. That hurt, but not as much as no, no, mine the actually feet. really swelled up. Apart from when I got the ones on the back of my neck, they were actually knocking down, they were renovating the kitchen. Was that one? No, I got a bite in the middle of that one. Um, they were renovating the kitchen and I got um, breeze butt dust in it and I'm allergic to breeze butt dust. And that was, it took ages to heal didn't really swell but it took ages and the one tattoo that i was dreading the healing on was my eyes because i got dots <laughs> there and there and i was dreading the healing on them but i tell you what i literally about two days after i had an itch i went like that and the scab fell off and i was like oh, okay the I worst got... one i think was spider-man well i had this done in the middle of summer <clears throat> and i got bitten in the middle of it and it, you're not supposed to scratch a new tattoo. So I was scared to scratch it, so I was like this. I told you that trick. Well, actually, Tojo told me it first. Do you know what, though? But, um, it, I've got a scar, but it didn't actually ruin the tattoo. So. All right. When I had my Mickey and Eva on the back of my leg, I was at work. And I said to my boss, now my boss had loads of tattoos. I said, I need to put some pseudo, I'm not pseudo cream, what was that I was using? Savlon cream on it, because it was really painful. And then, all right then. Yeah, no. no, I was using Savlon. Yeah, no, but I'm And saying. he said, uh, okay. He went, but don't be long. I went, I've got to rub it in and make sure that it's... He's like, I'll give you five minutes. Now, that's a big tattoo. Get down. And I had to sort of like... Get down. Dab it as well, because it was... Squidgy! 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 Get down! Sorry. Oh, boy. It was um, it was really swollen and it was like the scab was coming off and I was like, well, this might take a bit longer than five minutes because, you know, I've got to make sure that it's all rubbed in and fine. And he's like, I'll give you five minutes. Now, he had tattoos. But he was being a complete... Fuck. To me. And I don't know why. Oh, actually, I do think I know why. Because he fancied you and he didn't want to know. Yeah. And I was just like, I'll take as long as I need. And the other boss said, yeah, she will. And he didn't have any tattoos. <laughs> um, yeah, we are both tattooed. And you do know a little bit about it. What was funny, though, was I went to see my tattooist. I had 50 pounds. And I was like, right, I've got 50 quid. Went, what can you do for 50 quid? And he went, what do you want for 50 quid? I went, well, I don't know. What can you do for 50 quid? And I'll tell you if I want it or not. And he went, what do you want? And I says, okay. So what I ideally want is I want 13s and 8 balls around my wrist. He did that for 50 quid. And then because he couldn't connect it properly, because it's supposed to be like a bracelet, I've got a heartogram and an anarchy sign. But he could have put another 8 ball there actually, but he didn't. Um, so I've got 3 8 balls and 3 13s around my wrist. Because my plan is to get, um, what was it, 13, 13 13s, 13s. At the moment I've got 8 or 7, I've got seven or 8. Don't know. Quite a few, but I can't get anything else done on my back because I've got um my my back got damaged um for a tattoo, and then I had I've got a slip disc in my back after. So I've got a chip of my the woman that done. Well, I don't want to show you it because it's so creepy. You can't see it. It's sticking out a little bit there. 
No, that's my label. Hang on. Um, the Tokyo Hotel one that you've seen before. Well, we did do the, we did do the tattoo show, so. Was um, done with magnums the wrong way, and it actually chipped a bit of my spine. It was nice. You can feel it. It's horrible, isn't it? If you touch there, around there, you can feel it. It's actually got a bit missing. So that happened, and due to that happening, my back is screwed up, and then I slipped my disc in my back as well, so that screwed it up even more. I've got something. But before that, I had dilly gaff done on the bottom of my back. And I was actually like, I was actually quite brave. I was sitting there like that. And I don't, I can't usually sit like that for a long period of time because my back starts to hurt. So I was like, okay. So I was, I was sitting there and he was doing it. And my mum said it was quite funny. It was like cry baby because one tear when he got to the D because he'd done it backwards. She wanted to was there. <laughs> when I had Spider-Man done, the, all bets were off. I was screaming in agony. I was crying. I was clawing at, like, the, the, the tattoo you bench. Bit more. I was in agony. That one killed me. I went into shock after it was done. Honestly, that was the worst tattoo ever. That the pain was so bad for that one. You bit for a mix of Mark's arm. Yeah, well, he was there. It... I was agonising in pain. She's and got the tattoo in you going. <laughs> it, ow. Sorry, but that's what you were doing. Yeah, well, I'm not, you're not getting tattooed. That hurt. I haven't got no nails, I don't work. But you've got me with your finger like that. But, um, yeah, that, because it's quite big and it kind of bends round and it's near my bum. You wait till I get that, that one on the back of my legs. Oh, I'm not going to do this. So you weren't there when, um, what was it? Well, I've got one done and you wasn't there. I can't remember what it was. Bump. Oh. Was it him? Yeah. Oh, okay. She wasn't there when he was being done. And he lent on my boob. And yeah, there was, was complaining about them. One of them where you or Mark wasn't with me and I went in there and had one done on my own. Yeah, I think that was your eight balls. Was it? Yeah. Probably. I think that was a few times. So I don't think anyone was there when I got that done either. I was there. Oh, was you? Oh, well. Anyway. So yeah, um, there was a few times I went down there after work or whatever and got tattoos done. And well, when she got a honeybee done, I had mine done at the same time. I had my ribbon done. That one. And then I got my ribbon there. Yeah, we've all seen your ribbon. Oh, your your, your, your ribbon. tattoos are not very interesting. Why not? Oh, thanks. My <laughs> mean stuff. It's my mean stuff. Yeah, but mum mean more. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. I've got no. more mean than my no, tattoos. No, they don't. Than they don't. Okay. I mean, mine, I have a band sleeve because of my music. Well, it's not a sleeve, it's kind of half a sleeve. I have not known before Christmas because of my love of Christmas. I'm illustrated. If you want to read something, just read me. I'm an open book. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm illustrated. It's a story by my tattooist. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I've got like... Lyrics that are about my bullying and massive BBB tattoo, my cross, you know, and that was actually a birthday present. And I was sick the day I got that done, and <laughs> my toes went. I, I was, we had this virus, didn't we? I think everyone in England got that virus, at yeah. One or another. It was like a 24 hour bug, and it made you sick, it made you feel like crap, and you was coming out of both ends it's horrible and I had it and I'd been sick that morning and I was like I hope this goes before I think I'm going to you done and I'd taken some painkillers and that and I'd taken some like sicky stoppers and poo poo stoppers <laughs> and, sicky stoppers <laughs> and I went and got my tattoo done and Mark with his big mouth said yeah because she was sick this morning and I was like and Bradley said if I'd known that I wouldn't have started it you won't but now I've got to finish it because I've already started and I was like but he did say with Spider-Man, he went, I'll come back next week and I'll finish it. And I was like, if you stop now, I'm not coming back. <laughs> you need to do it all now. And then you want me to colour it now as well. I'm, Just do it. I went, because if you don't, if you stop, I said, and you don't finish it, I'm not coming back to have it finished. And he went, are you sure? Yeah, he went, because you'll have a really stupid looking tattoo. He went, are you sure? And I went, just do it. And that was the worst decision of my life because the agony I was in. But he looks good, doesn't he? He looks he looks good. He's Spider-Man, he looks good. But I do need to get him recolored in, which I'm dreading. But it needs to be done. 
because his colour is going a bit so so tell us about your experiences and tattoos and, and tattoos. piercings and piercings and what makes you cringe um, yeah a lot makes me cringe mo mind movies in your mind Mind movies in your mind. That was really mind movies. Good and, English. <laughs> mind movies and emotions when you're listening to music or reading books or yeah. hearing books or whatever. Because um, there are lots. It's interesting. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna do another haul for you guys today after we've been shopping. I might video again why I'm actually shopping. Oh, no, we won't do that again. Me? Oh, we're not going to do that again. I hate you shopping. We have to go shopping. We can't not eat. Why not? Because if we don't eat, we will die. I hate But, mm. and you don't mind me videoing when we're walking around because I'm not really doing anything to you. You're not, you're not really on camera much either. So, hopefully Fitness First will not have crappy music blaring out again. No, because that really got on my nose last month. That did. That was so bad. Like, why? Just why? Why so loud? Why? I'm sorry. I need to go to but yeah. I know we worked out what we're spending this month. I didn't mm. put the washing on it. Well, it's fine because you've got, um, I told you how much you've got. We've, we've got to go and do the washing at some point this month, and I've got about four loads, so. Because I have some stuff that I have to pack. Also, we don't put cap on it. But you, I told you how much that you've got. Yeah, I know. I'm not gonna have a lot left. So. Yeah, you are. After you've paid me, you're not. But yeah. And after I've got the cab fare and the washing. Can you stop it. complaining right now? We're doing a video. You're gonna be in. I'm telling people I'm gonna be skin again. I'm so. Be skin again. There's nothing new. Yeah, I'm sure you don't want to hear about her money worries right now. Stop it. Well, she's so childish. <laughs> but, so um, yeah, so let us know about all the stuff. Leanne, let us know if you get your shopping done by your kids or by the internet or by any means possible. Yeah, so let us know. Um, we want to know. Michelle, I am up and there is no toilet bowl yet because we are recording it as we speak because... And she will it. message you once she's uploaded. I will. Actually, I'll message you after I finish doing it, so... <laughs> but we will leave you for today, and we will see you later after we've done the shopping. This has been Tells from Toilet Bowl. Be kind and considerate. And we will see you at another time on Tells. Tomorrow. In the toilet bowl. Actually, later on. That's what I'm mean. <laughs> Later. Another time on Tells. In the toilet bowl. Bye. Bye.